Dear friends, I wish you grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus. So today we want to continue our series on what we have started, the journey from blindness to sight. And today we want to reflect on the fourth series, what I have titled, Some Matters Are Urgent. In John chapter 9 verse 4, Jesus told his disciples, we must do the works of him who sent us while it is day, because the night is coming when no one can work. Uh, you know, we always like to procrastinate. Many of us are battling with this weakness of postponing things. I can do it later. I don't have to rush. I've still got time to do it. It's something personally I struggle with, really. Uh, I tend to shift things. I can do it later. But the simple message for us today from the words of Jesus, some matters are urgent. Some matters cannot wait. Some matters cannot be shifted till later. And in this video, I just want us to reflect on these few things that are very urgent and we must do immediately we have received the prompting. Number one, to witness to Jesus. When you have the opportunity to witness to Jesus, don't postpone it. Don't think you will always have it. Such opportunities come but once. So when you have the opportunity to talk to somebody about Jesus, to share the joy, the beauty of your faith, don't waste it. It's very urgent. Number two, to repent. Uh, some time ago, I did a video on delay as one of the tactics of the devil. When the Holy Spirit has convicted you of something that you're doing wrongly, you don't need to tell yourself, I've got time, because you have not. When the Lord, when you feel the Spirit of God calling you to repentance, please do not delay. Because every summoning, every call to repentance is an expression of the mercy of God. And just like the message of Jonah to the Ninevites, the Lord was giving them the final opportunity to repent. We cannot presume that we always have time to repent. No. If you feel something is wrong and you need to make peace with God, please do it urgently. Number three, to make peace with others. To reconcile is something urgent. Don't push it day after day. I can do it later. I will reconcile later. We'll settle our differences later. The Bible says, be angry but do not sin. Do not give the devil this opportunity. So, a protracted enmity, a sustained disagreement is giving the devil an opportunity. The Lord wants us to make peace as soon as possible. And that's why the Bible says if you are bringing your gift to the altar and there you remember that someone has something against you, do not offer the sacrifice and go back. No, drop the gift and go. That's to tell us, that's a sense of urgency to make peace. And so maybe today there's someone you need to reconcile with. There's something you need to discuss. You have to settle uh, your difference with somebody. Do not postpone that. Please go and settle your differences. This is an urgent matter. To be kind and to help others. Sometimes we feel in our spirit that the Lord wants us to help somebody. But we tell ourselves, no, I can do it later. I will support him later. Please, if you feel that urge, that call, respond immediately. Sometimes you could just feel in your spirit, God wants you to go and visit someone and pray for the person. Do not postpone it. This may be the last opportunity. The opportunity to do good, to help others, does not last forever. Why you receive the urge? Act on it. And finally, working for God. 
And that's what Jesus told his disciples. There's no point for us to begin to debate on this matter. We cannot postpone this matter. I have to do something for this man now. Sometimes we tell ourselves, when I grow old, I'll begin to work for God. I'm still a young man. Sometimes now that we have the strength, I'm a priest, I'm young. I have the strength, I have the zeal, I have the passion. This is the time. A time we call when maybe I'll be using uh, working aid. When I will not be able to do some of the things that I have the strength to do now. So while I'm able to, now is the time. It is an urgent matter. Working for God is urgent. Don't say, I'll do it later. If you feel God calling you to do something, please respond now. Some matters are urgent. To forgive, to reconcile is urgent. To repent is urgent. To be kind and to help others is urgent. Dear friends, to witness to Jesus is urgent. And to work for God cannot be postponed. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless his words in our hearts. And may the Holy Spirit steer in us that passion to respond to the Lord as he calls, when he calls, and immediately he calls. God bless you all.